Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Maverick Mompreneur podcast, the show dedicated to empowering female online entrepreneurs and helping you grow your personal brand. I'm your host, Ashley, and in today's episode, we're going to be diving into coaching examples for business growth. And more specifically, we'll be focusing on three hypothetical clients. I made them up for sake of example at different stages of business and personal brand development. These clients all have personal brands that they would like to monetize with affiliate product sales as well as other streams of income. And I'm going to tell them, this is gonna be a little funny, but I'm gonna tell them the advice that I would give them at the stage that they're in. Fun, right? But before we jump into that, I wanted to let you know about an amazing free resource I have for you, which I do not talk about enough. You may have come across it on my website. You may have come across it via a Facebook or Instagram ad, but it's the personal brand toolkit. Head to elevatedwithashley.com forward slash toolkit and you'll find more information, but there are so many valuable free resources that I know you will love. One is my zero to six figure personal brand case study. There are tips and tricks inside of that for taking your passion and your experiences and using them to create a personal brand with multiple income streams, just like I have. And each chapter gives takeaways and reflection points and journal prompts to hopefully inspire and encourage you along your own entrepreneurial personal branding journey. Also included is a clickable listing of my most helpful podcast episodes in categories. And I think that's going to be super helpful if you're wanting to get some of the free training I give here, but you don't want to sort through all the episodes according to your needs. That's super helpful. There is a personal branding 101 workbook, which is very similar to the process that I take my clients through when they are developing their personal brand. There's an ideal client avatar worksheet and video training that I give. There's also a brand content brain dump, which is a strategy that I use to batch brain dump a whole bunch of on-brand content. And there's a worksheet for that. There's an editable Canva template, so many good things. If you would like to snag that, head to elevatedwithashley.com forward slash toolkit and enter your name and email, and it will be sent directly to your inbox. All right, so let's get started with our hypothetical clients. The first client is Lisa again. This is not a real client, but Lisa is someone who's in the beginning stages of building her personal brand. She is super passionate about health and wellness. That's her jam. And she wants to monetize the expertise that she has. So what advice would I give Lisa at this stage of her business? Well, Lisa, the first thing that I would encourage you to do is to clarify your niche. Health and wellness is a super broad field, so it's important for you to define your specific area of expertise. Are you an expert in, say, plant-based nutrition, mindful living, Is it fitness for busy professionals? Narrowing down your niche is going to help you to stand out and attract the right audience and the people who you can best serve. The next thing I would advise you to focus on at this stage in your business is something that I would tell anyone who's just getting started. And that is to focus on creating valuable content, but not just valuable content anywhere. Content that's going to serve you for years to come and work for you, even when you aren't at work. So start a blog, start a YouTube channel, start a podcast where you can start to share your knowledge and connect with your audience, but on a platform that is going to serve you for years to come where you can leverage SEO. So search engine optimization, 
You don't have to know all of the ins and outs you can learn as you go, but I highly recommend that as you're providing practical tips, you're sharing inspiring stories, you're engaging with your community, all of those things you're going to do, but have your hub be a place where you can repurpose content from onto say your social media where you're building community, but definitely start with a content platform that can serve you for years. When it comes to monetization at this stage in your business, I would consider leveraging affiliate products that align with your niche and your target audience. So sharing products that you can make a commission off of that would serve your audience that are not something that you are having to create yourself. Because right now you're gonna focus on creating content, establishing authority in your brand, and then leverage affiliate products by sharing them with your audience. So if you can find a trusted brand and product that you believe in genuinely, and you can recommend to your audience, great, because that is not only gonna add value to your content, but it will also generate some passive income for you, especially when you're promoting on an evergreen platform. So say you have a series of YouTube videos and you are promoting within those videos affiliate products, which are linked in the description in your actual show notes. You could do the same thing with the blog, same thing with the podcast, not only for the first time that you publish that piece of content, will you receive hopefully some or a lot over time of affiliate sales, but all the replay viewers for years to come will be able to see and make purchases through your recommendations. So for you, Lisa, definitely clarify your niche, narrow down who you're wanting to help and what your specific area of expertise and passion really is. Focus on creating valuable content that's going to serve you for years to come by either starting a blog, a YouTube channel or podcast or all three, if you're really ambitious and really feeling like it, and then leverage affiliate products. So find some affiliate programs or networks where you can really leverage those products, whether it's a social selling company or something like Amazon or a specific brand with an affiliate partnership program, which most of them do have these days. I hope that's helpful. All right, I'm back talking to you. Let's move on to our second client who I am naming Sarah. Sarah has an established personal brand and she's starting to generate some revenue through affiliate product sales. So she has already started her evergreen platform. She actually has a YouTube channel. She's a leader in social selling and she's started to informally coach others who see and desire the success that she's had in the online space. So what's the next step or steps for Sarah? Let me chat with her real quick. All right, Sarah, at this stage in your business, it is time for you to focus on expanding your reach and diversifying your revenue streams. I would highly, highly encourage you to begin building an email list or a SMS text list through creating a simple, super valuable lead magnet that's going to be relevant to your target audience. You have social media followers and eyeballs, but it's really time to start capturing them and converting them onto a list that you own. And that's going to allow you to really have a targeted list to communicate with as well as launch to. So when you start to create your own offers or you want to formalize the coaching that you've been doing for free, you are going to have a target audience built up who's already received value from you by way of your lead magnet. So just something simple, a downloadable PDF, which has a framework of how you created success. And of course you can expand on that and give the how to in your coaching, or if you create a digital course or a group program, but someone will have a preview of what your style is and what you have to offer. And then of course you're gonna be communicating with them via email or text. So for you, I would highly encourage you to start building that email list like yesterday, but definitely now is the time. As far as expanding your reach, one thing that you might want to consider is guest appearances on podcasts with audiences similar to your target audience. This is definitely a way to expose you to a new audience and help to establish yourself as an authority in your space. You could do the same type of crossover or collaboration with other influencers within your niche 
on YouTube, since you do have your YouTube channel, you could cross promote and make guest appearances on one another's channels. And then of course, I encourage you to continue to engage with your followers, share valuable content that you're repurposing from your YouTube. And honestly, I would encourage you at this point, since you have a successful YouTube channel, you could be repurposing those YouTube videos into audio and putting those up on a podcast and utilizing the same SEO strategy and keywords as you do on your YouTube channel on a podcast. You can do the same by taking taking your YouTube video and or your layer for the podcast and having that on a blog or a website. Very simple, but this is something that you can bring into your workflow and just expand your reach with the same content that you're already sharing. So as much as you can do that, the better. All right, Sarah, so that's in a nutshell the steps that I would advise for you to take at this stage in your business. You have an established brand and now it's the time to really expand your reach, diversify your revenue streams, look at creating your own offers such as digital products or online courses or formalizing the one-on-one coaching that you've already been doing. And that's just going to allow you to have so much more control over your revenue and also position yourself as an expert. So I hope that's helpful. Okay. So me back again, talking to you. Let's meet our third client of the day. I have named her Emma. Emma has achieved a high level of success. She has a strong personal brand. She has multiple income streams. She has a digital course. She has a couple of downloadable PDFs that are low ticket. One's $47, one's 97. However, she is facing new challenges as she is looking to scale and sustain her success. She doesn't want to trade time for money forever. And she is finding that her warm market is dwindling down. So she is really at a place where she needs to scale and grow and sustain her success that she created. So she's a year or two into this successful period. She's built up her brand over time. She knew it wasn't going to happen overnight, but at this point she is really looking to make sure this is her long-term play. This is her plan. A, there is no plan be. So what guidance would I provide to Emma at this stage in her business? Okay, Emma. So at this stage in your business, you're crushing it, but it's essential that you focus on scaling your business, but also maintaining that same authenticity that got you to where you are. So there's a few things that I would advise. Number one is looking at delegating tasks to a team, a team member, a virtual assistant, or outsourcing certain responsibilities that you have to someone say on Fiverr or Upwork so that you can focus on your areas of expertise and the things that only you can do that require your personality, your brain, and your time. So at this point in your business, we need to look with a fine tooth comb for automation opportunities that are going to streamline the processes that you have and save time. So things like your onboarding process for new students in your courses or new one-on-one clients, where can we dial that in? Where can we create systems so that it takes you out of it until the point where your brain needs to be involved with your client or your students? Another piece of advice that I would share with you, which is something that I've learned over time and I wish someone had told me earlier, is that it is so important to continuously refine your personal brand. Make sure that it's aligned in all ways and also stay ahead of your competition by keeping updated with the trend in your industry and in your niche, not continuing to teach things that are outdated. You want to be on the cutting edge. So taking courses, investing in coaching yourself, investing in your own professional development is so key, but not just professional development. One of the most important pieces for you at this stage is to make sure that your personal development and your personal growth are being worked on and dialed in constantly, because as you know, and have experienced, there are ups and downs in entrepreneurship. There are always going to be time periods where things are not going the way that you want them to. And those are opportunities to really lean in and discover what can you learn from this to make your business better in the future, to make you better in the future, to make you a better leader, 
a better coach, a better teacher, and really disciplining your mind to not freak out during the inevitable ups and downs of your entrepreneurial journey. And different things work for different people. Some people love to have a coach on standby. So whether you find someone to work with one-on-one and have monthly calls or bi-weekly calls or weekly calls or just messenger access, that may work for you. It also may work to be a part of a mastermind. It also may work for you to have a set aside time every day where you are either meditating or reading a book and reflecting, whatever works for you, but having some sort of part of your business that is focused on your own personal and professional development needs is so crucial. It's really crucial at any stage, but now you're in this for the long haul and you really want to make sure that this works for you for the long haul, you have to know that the most important asset of your entire brand is yourself and your mindset and your ability to persevere no matter what is going on and to still show up and run your business and lead no matter what is going on. So at this stage, it is important to focus on scaling your business. It's incredibly important to maintain your authenticity and being yourself and being an ever better version of yourself. It's also time to start delegating more, outsourcing things that can really save your time so that you can scale what it is that you are doing. And then lastly, it may be time to start looking at automating some of your processes so that you're not doing live launches forever and always. So setting up sales funnels for your own products so that you have passive income from both your affiliate products, as well as at least one of your own. So that's what I would advise for you at this stage in your business, Emma. I hope that was helpful. All right. Well, there you have it. Those are three examples of coaching for business growth at differing stages of personal brand development. So whether you are someone who's just starting out like Lisa, expanding your reach like Sarah, or scaling your existing success like Emma, just remember that building a personal brand and building a business takes time and consistent effort, but it's so worth it. And just enjoy the journey, have fun all along the way, hopefully create assets for yourself and your business that are going to bring in sales and leads while you're sleeping. Please do that. If you are not just starting out and you're scaling your success and you don't have systems for automation, hit me up, hit someone up who can help you with that. But I hope that these coaching examples have provided you with some insight and some inspiration for your journey, no matter where you are. Remember to assess your own stage of business and apply strategies that allow align with your goals, what fits best for you and your family. There is no one cookie cutter way to build a brand or business. And so always remember to apply things that feel aligned. All right. So that wraps up today's episode of the Maverick Mompreneur podcast. If you found this episode helpful, I would so appreciate if you could leave a review on Apple podcasts and, or take a screenshot and share this and tag me. I will of course reshare and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes. Thank you for tuning in. This is Ashley. I'm going to catch you in the next episode. Until then, keep nurturing your personal brand, keep thriving, and cheers to your impact. 